Some things are such a part of our daily routine, we hardly think of them at all. Before she even leaves for work, we'll have touched her life many times over. In a typical four-bedroom home, we make over 150,000 personal contributions. And once the morning is off to a good start, we'll be there the rest of the day, too. Our reach is broad. It's hard to pin us down for just that reason. Yet there is a common denominator. automobile, the computer in your office, the lock on your front door, the products that make our lives richer and fuller, that keep us safe and our nation secure, all are only as good as the parts from which they're made. Parts that make these products affordable and long-lasting. Quality products must have quality parts. It is an industry unto itself. Metal forming. Precision metal forming. The industry that gives utility to sheet metal using tooling in machines. A few non-metals are also used, but by and large, if it's made of metal and has a precise shape and function, then it was brought to you by the precision metal forming industry. A $30 billion industry made up of 360,000 of our nation's craftspeople. An industry that consumes one quarter of all the steel produced in the United States. Precision metal forming. An industry capable of creating new industries. The business where business begins. From raw metal to precision parts, our machines flex their muscles, our people stretch their minds. My background is in mechanical engineering and computer science. Uh, I started with the company about four years ago and uh, seen a lot of changes since then. We've gone from uh, purely just drafting board to a, a computer-aided design and computer-aided manufacturing type of uh, system here in engineering. Engineering used to be all strictly on the drafting board, uh, designing by hand manually in a 2D manner. Uh, in recent years, we purchased the CAD CAM system, and uh, now instead of uh, trying to visualize a part, you can actually bring a three-dimensional part up on a screen and visualize it and see it before you've done any kind of work with it at all. So it, you kind of got a head start on, on the whole game. We have the ability to transfer from, down, from up there down to here and actually show it on our monitors and machine it from their programs, you would call them, that are sent down from upstairs. It's all computerized. The same information we used in engineering is sent to the tool room. Then we use the same computer program here to inspect the accuracy of the tooling at the coordinate measuring machine. It guarantees consistency. Well, here in this facility, we're a metal stamping firm where we take a, a raw piece of steel, which is normally either a sheet stock or a coil stock, and we put it through a large press, and, uh, which has a tool that would form the part.
We pay very close attention to quality, every step of the way. We have methods to ensure every part that goes out of here is up to our high standards. We're thinking about quality from before a customer walks in the door to well after the part goes on his car. You have to design quality into your parts. We're constantly striving to improve our manufacturing techniques. Uh, when, when you as a consumer demanded a even more quality product than we thought we were producing all those many years, my first role and main role was to preach the gospel that quality is number one. The precision requirements of the parts we produce make quality assurance a necessity. Every part that I see is thoroughly checked for even the slightest imperfection. Quality is an overriding theme in metal forming, yet there's another theme that is equally important. It too is built into the process every step of the way.